What is up guys, Rysum here, and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Since the developers have announced that planets are going to be officially added into the game, I have been scrambling to create various designs of ground vehicles and spacecraft that can explore these new planetary bodies. I've experimented with some crazy designs, and I've learned a few tips and tricks that will help you in your adventures. Here's my ultimate guide to building functional all-terrain ground vehicles. Tip number one, create the framework and the axles of the vehicle using heavy armor blocks. Chances are, if you're driving over tough, rocky terrain, the underside of your ship will take a beating, and you don't want to damage or break off any of your wheels. Just be careful not to add too much heavy armor, as your vehicle will become very heavy and slow. Tip number two. Use more than just four wheels. Although typical cars and trucks on Earth may only have two pairs, using three or four allows it to climb up steep hills and traverse jagged terrain. Also, try placing the front and rear wheels slightly above the ground. This will make it even easier to climb hills and is also a technique used in real life for all-terrain military vehicles. Tip number three. If you're having the very common issue of your vehicle tipping over, try placing the artificial mass blocks as low to the ground as possible. Also, try to keep these blocks as far away from the center as you can. Doing this will put the center of mass very very low to the ground and further stabilizes the craft. If you'd followed these instructions and your ship still overturns, you can go to the extremes and add mass blocks to the rims of the wheels, or even you can add a second tire onto each wheel. This may make your craft very wide and possibly slower, though I guarantee it will not tip over. Tip number four, always have spare tires. You can place them on the outside of your vehicle for a more realistic look or you can simply store the materials in a cargo compartment. Personally, I really like the look of having a tire on the outside of your vehicle. It makes it look like something like a Jeep or an off-road vehicle from real life. Tip number five. Adding on to tip number four, a great feature to add to your car is a car jack. You can create this by using pistons and landing gear and attaching them to the underside of your ship, so if a tire gets destroyed, all you have to do is activate the pistons, lock down the landing gear, and now your truck is lifted enough that you can simply grind away the spare and re-weld the new wheel. Good as new. Tip number six. If you've gone a little bit overboard with the heavy armor and your ship is extremely slow, you can increase the speed by adding small thrusters to the rear and front of the ship. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you attach a few thrusters to the top and set their thrust override to maximum, then your ship can sca scale cliff sides and even go upside down. As of now, we don't really know what to expect in planets, though this tip can come in handy if you encounter a deep canyon or even a large cliffside. And also, it's just freaking awesome. <laughs> Following these techniques, I've created dozens and dozens of functional designs that can traverse the hardest of terrain. My favorite design is the Raptor Planetary Explorer. This guy sports all of the features I've mentioned in my guide, in addition to a few others. You can enter the ship via the piston doors on either side of the craft, and inside you'll find the cabin where there's space for two passengers, complete with personal lighting. Also, the medium cargo container can be easily accessed. Upon entering the driver's seat, you'll be greeted by several text panels displaying both the controls of the craft and some other general information. The controls on the hot bar correspond to the labeled text panels, so you'll never forget the purpose of any buttons. I've added cameras on each side, giving you 360 degrees of view. Lastly, on top, I've placed a turret for a little bit of self-defense. To admit, this turret only has one axis of rotation, although this can easily be changed in the future. I'm very pleased with how this vehicle came out, and if you like some of my designs and you want to create your own ships just like the Raptor, be sure to follow my ultimate guide. If you want to download this world and some of my other crazy creations, click the link to the Steam Workshop in the description below. 
Also, leave me a comment telling me what kind of stuff you guys love to build for Planet. I would also like to say thank you to all of my viewers, and also thank you so, so much for 3,000 subscribers. That is insane, considering just like less than a month ago, I had 2,000 subscribers, and now it's at 3,000. I, it's just crazy. Thank you guys so much for that, and as always, I will see you guys next time.